those people lined up. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We are very happy. I'm Hale Boggs, uh, co-chairman of the train with Governor Hodges of North Carolina. This is our first stop in South Carolina. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson and Linda have made at least uh, 25 speeches and all through Virginia and all through North Carolina the crowds have been just like you all, all the way with LBJ. Now let me introduce to you some of your own folks who have been on the train with us and who will get off here, who have waked with us very hard. Mr. Is that Mrs., isn't it, McDowell? Yeah, Mrs. McDowell, the vice chairman. Mr. and Mrs. James L. Morris. Mr. and Mrs. B. Biles Mack. Mrs. Mack is co-chairman of the train. Mayor and Mrs. Luther G. Patterson of Fort Mill. Senator and Mrs. Robert W. Hayes, the Democratic nominee for the Senate. <coughs> Dr. and Mrs. Charles Davis, president of Winthrop College. <coughs> Mr. Lewis Moss, co-chairman of the train. Mrs. Lucille Arendt, representing our labor friends and Mr. L.B. Knox, also representing our labor friends, is that right? And, Ms. and Mrs. W. Lewis Wallace, who had been very helpful to us. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> may I present to you our candidate for Congress, Mr. Tom Geddes. Where's Tom? Take over. Thank you, sir. It's a wonderful experience to be aboard the Ladybird Special. Mrs. Gaddis and I appreciate the opportunity wonderfully well. It's a high honor to welcome the First Lady of the Land and these high dignitaries as aboard this train to South Carolina in the 5th Congressional District. Thank you so much, Congressman Boggs. Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you have one of the greatest governors in the United States in South Carolina. He's a Democrat without prefix or suffix. He's a Democrat, first, last, and always. And he has a lovely wife who has been on this train, and she has been along with my wife, the co-chairman of this train, and we're mighty proud of it. And Governor, come over here and welcome uh, Mrs. Johnson to South Carolina. Congressman Boggs, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor for South Carolina and a deep personal privilege for me to welcome to South Carolina an authentic daughter of the South and a wonderful, gracious, compassionate First Lady. And I am sure that she can take with her from Rock Hill the assurance that South Carolina and Rock Hill will see that she is in the White House four more years. God bless you, Governor. You're just as right as you can be. She is as Southern as any one of us. She loves the South, but she looks at the South, which is moving ahead, which is looking to the future, the vibrant, growing new South that we all love along with our glorious past. And now to uh, introduce your distinguished senator, your loyal Democratic senator, I present to you the mayor of your fine city, Mayor David Lyle. Mr. Mayor. It's a great pleasure to me to be able to welcome our distinguished guests to the city of Rock Hill and to the county of York. And let's all have a big welcome for Mrs. Johnson. I want to thank all of you for coming out and giving this great lady such a royal reception. It's now my pleasure to present to you a man who in Rock Hill and York County needs no introduction. A man who has twice been elected governor of this state 
a man who has, is serving his fourth term as a United States Senator from South Carolina, the lone loyal Democratic Senator from the state of South Carolina, I present to you the Honorable Olin D. Johnson. Mayor Lyles and fellow Democrats, I'm glad to have this privilege today to be on this train with a Democrat. I know what South Carolina is going to do on November the 3rd when that election comes. They're going to vote Democratic like they've always voted. I would be derelict in my duty if I didn't stick to my party, too. Now, friends, it gives me a great deal of privilege to introduce to you the first lady in the White House, Lady Bird Johnson. My friends of South Carolina, thank you all for coming out. It's a real pleasure to be introduced by Senator Olin Johnston. He and Gladys have been our dear friends for 15 or more years. And now that we enter the state of South Carolina, I want to say a word about the wife of your governor, who is the co-chairwoman of this whole trip. She's done more to start these wheels rolling than nearly anybody, any of us. She's a mighty capable woman. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here in this land of cattle and cotton. It, it reminds me of Texas. But you have one special claim to fame that Texas can never match. That is being the birthplace of Andrew Jackson. Of course, I know that nearly every southern state has a way of claiming claim to that president, too. It's good he was a big enough man to be shared not only by the whole South, but by the Democratic Party across the country. You have much to be proud of in this oldest part of the nation. You have demonstrated valor and perseverance from colonial days through a spectrum including war, industrial revolution, depression, recovery, and expansion. And the future is filled with challenge. My main reason for coming here today is to say to you that to this Democratic candidate for president and his wife, the South is a respected and valued and beloved part of this country. My husband would like to be here himself to be bring you his greetings, but since he can't, I am coming to some of the states I know best, in many of which I spent summer times and vacation times of my childhood, and my grandmother, Emma Bates, was born in this state. Ten months ago, on a dreadful day that shook our country, my husband became your president. Since then, he has tried with all that is in him to keep our country on a steady course of economic prosperity, to face the world with firm strength, and to seek practical ways to help those Americans still in need. There are problems ahead, and he promises no easy answers. But his years of working for the people of this country, you people right out there, include a lot of experience, 24 of them in the Congress, many of which he served with your good, your dear Senator Olin Johnston. Three years in the vice presidency and these last 10 hard months. Also, plus what a wife can only describe as a lot of determination and energy and devotion to his job, which I believe will mean a lot in helping solve the problems that face you and you and you and all of us. I'm proud of his record. I hope you will want to continue it. And I thank you for coming out. And, 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 and just, just one more minute, because I see a lot of young folks in the crowd, and because I think a, a lot of them are from the neighboring Winthrop College, is that right? <laughs> 
I want, I want to introduce my own student to you, Linda Bird Johnson. Thank you. I want to thank you all for coming, particularly the young people. I was very, I, mother asked me how to win most of the votes from the young people, and I said, go to school, go to a city when school is in session and see if you can't get them to turn the school out. And I'm very glad that about 2,600 students from Winthrop College have made it here today to see us. Thank you all for coming. I want to particularly thank you for all the signs I see in the band for coming. I must admit there are a few signs I don't agree with, but I'm glad <laughs> But I'm glad that we live in a country where we're allowed to disagree. And after all, we know in our hearts who's right. Thank you. So I urge you now, vote Democratic. From, from the courthouse to the White House. Thank you. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. We're on a tight schedule. Our first lady and her lovely daughter have made uh, at least 20 speeches since leaving Washington, and they have maybe 50 more to make. But when we are finished, I can tell you that just like Maine and Vermont, New Hampshire, and Arizona, North Carolina, and South Carolina, and the rest of the South will be with our Southern President, Lyndon Johnson. Hey, look at that sign. <laughs>